my friends, the situation today is not the best. Even in the United States, there is currently a significant division. The government of Texas refuses to comply with Biden's orders, and many other states support Texas. But let's go through everything step by step. And let's start right away with Ukraine. In the Kupinsk direction, the occupies, as before, cannot capture Sankivka. And today they shifted their focus to the populated area of Tabaivka. They have conducted more than six attacks here, hoping to break through quickly in an unexpected location. However, there are no reports of any breakthroughs yet, and the Ukrainian armed forces repel all attacks. Additionally, reports from the ground indicate that the occupiers aim to advance near Liman Pershi. In the direction of Liman Pershi, the Russians want to squeeze in the direction of the swamp, Lake Liman, they really want to gain a foothold there. So we can expect increased activity in this area. In the Svartova direction, significant intensification persists around the Stelmachivka area. Here, about six attacks were conducted out within a day, but the Ukrainian armed forces maintain their defense and the front line remains unchanged. Shalin along the front line also continues. In the Krumina direction, the occupiers conducted seven attacks in the areas of the villages of Terny and Torsky. They are attempting to advance as much as possible toward the water obstacle, but the Ukrainian forces are doing everything to maintain their defense, and the front line remains unchanged within a day. In the severs direction, the occupiers continue shelling for now, but there are no new offensive actions and the front line remains unchanged. In the Bakhmut direction, the occupiers are displaying significant activity with 10 attacks repelled within a day. They are advancing on multiple fronts targeting Bogdanivka, Ivanivska, Khrushchevka and Andreevka. However, they still haven't achieved any successes. The Ukrainian armed forces successfully hold their defense, and a significant number of occupiers are eliminated in this direction. Russians are openly calling for more childbirth to have more people for future wars. Знаете, таким призывом хочется, может быть, и к мужчинам. А почему бы нет? Не вина мыску, да? Взять сегодня вечером. своей любимой там подкраться и ровно через 9 месяцев говоря, под конец 24 -го года родить не 700 человек а там 10 тысяч 10 тысяч семей пар что-то должны сделать сегодня завтра вечером влюбиться оставшиеся 10 тысяч сделать это в следующем году in the Avdiivka direction it appears that the occupiers have received new reserves and have actively begun storming the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces on a wide front. Within a day, 28 attacks have been conducted. Battles are reported in the areas of Novobakhmutivka, Stepove and Avdiivka. Despite successful resistance from the Ukrainian armed forces, the occupiers are attempting to advance actively. Additionally, there are battles on the southern flank in the areas of Opetne, Vodyane, Pervomaiske and Nevelske. Numerous shelling incidents are reported across the entire front line. There are no changes within a day, but unofficially, the Ukrainian armed forces report that occupiers are gradually making progress within Avdiivka. So, official confirmations is awaited. Further south, in the Marenka area, the occupiers haven't achieved success near Heorhivka 
and no new attacks are reported today. However, in the areas of the villages of Abeda and Novomikhailivka, the battles continue and the situation remains challenging. The occupies have the advantage and there is unverified information circulating on social media that they have captured and killed Ukrainian soldiers, although videos supporting this claim haven't been shared online. Therefore, the accuracy of this information needs verification. Despite this, the front line remains unchanged with any day. In the Vuhlidar direction, the occupies failed to make progress near Staromayorsky. Today, attacks have ceased and only shelling is reported. In the direction of the village of Zolotaniva, only one unsuccessful attack has been conducted and the front line remains unchanged. In the Zaporizhia direction, offensive actions are reported near Verbove and the village of Chervone. Five attacks were conducted within a day, but the occupies didn't achieve success. In the Kherson direction, the occupies continue shelling Kherson and the entire right bank attempts to push Ukrainian forces out of the left bank also persist. Casualties are reported among the occupies and Russian war correspondents are providing updates from this direction. Everything is the same. Today there were three assaults on the village of Krenki. They stormed groups from the 328th Airborne Assault Regiment of the 104th Airborne Division. All assaults were unsuccessful. Groups of the 328th Airborne Assault Regiment were supported only by mortar fire. Cannon artillery did not support the assaults, as well as our MLRS, about which many of our channels lied today. There are losses among the fighters of the 328th Airborne Assault Regiment. We have just reported from the headquarters of the 18th OA, Kherson direction of the Dnipro Main Army. The enemy used five drones with AI in the rear areas of the 70th Motorized Rifle Regiment, rear areas of the village of Krenki. The drones found the target on their own. Our electronic warfare was ineffective, nothing affected the drones. Now enemy drones with AI have destroyed four types of our equipment. One drone went south. Be careful. The enemy began testing drones with AI. If the Ukrainian forces are experiencing significant success with counteracting FPV drones on this front, it seems there are some issues on other fronts. Yuri Butusov raises concerns because the promised drones are still not available and the number of occupies is increasing every day. The first month of 2024 is coming to an end, but a significant number of drone manufacturers have not yet received contracts from the state to produce the million drones promised by the president. And this is a problem because drones are critically important at the front right now. The reason for the delay is traditional, a change in the procurement organizer. Instead of the Ministry of Digital Transformation and the State Special Communication Service, the Ministry of Defense and the State Special Communication Service are designated as the administrators. Dia Spetsviaz begins to sign contracts next week. And the Ministry of Defense has not yet had time to draw up agreements, and sources say that the process of concluding agreements will be delayed until mid-February. Therefore, most of the manufacturers are out of work and have to do something with their own working capital. That is, components are not ordered, plans are disrupted. Unfortunately, the situation is not comforting. Meanwhile, problems are beginning in the United States. In many areas, the U.S.-Mexico border is virtually unfortified, allowing migrants to easily enter U.S. territory. According to CNN, in December 2023, 225,000 people illegally crossed the border, and in 2023, about 3 million people crossed the leaky wall at the border into the states. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has ordered National Guard units to take control of the border and begin erecting barbed wire fortifications. The federal government won a court order to remove the wire, but Texas still refused to hand over control of the border. Abbott also activated Article 1 of Section 10 of Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution, which allows for the declaration of martial law in the state and without regard for the federal government. Trump, who is running for president in 2024, said that Americans should support the measures taken by the Texas authorities to protect the security, sovereignty of Texas and the American people. 
Abbott was also supported by 26 Republican governors in the confrontation with Biden. It seems to me, friends, that the world is drowning in war. So please share your thoughts in the comments. And that's all for me. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest news. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.